Tobilk began its life back in 1860. The only vineyard that we've got left from that time is the 1860 vines, Shiraz. The first really big test for that vineyard was when phylloxera struck. Tobilk's vineyards decreased to 30 acres. Of that 30 acres, Tobilk's 1860 planted Shiraz vines actually survived phylloxera. They survived because they're on very sandy soil and phylloxera aphid doesn't move through that sort of soil type and it was only the surface roots that were destroyed. First vintage of those 1860 planted was in 1861. They're only one year old. The process is probably a little gentler than it was back in the 1860s, but the actual fermentation part of the process and the management of the cap is exactly the same as it was in 1860s. The grapes are hand-picked in the vineyard, pumped into the vats using the same fermenters. Basically, we take the fruit, we make the wine very simply and we try not to mess with it. We use a lot less new oak than most other red winemakers. That means that then you really are getting an accurate expression of the fruit flavours from this estate. The wine is lovely, elegant style, really velvety on the palate. It's a wine that you could sit down and really enjoy with friends. Since we started making it as a single vineyard wine, it immediately started to get a, a cult reputation. The Wine and Spirits magazine rated it as one of the best 25 vineyards in the world. A lot of people ask the question, how long can those 1860 Shiraz vines yield? You know, they're 160 years old now and they still look really good. So I can imagine they'll still be looking good in another 50 years. We certainly hope they will be. It's fair to say that particular block would be the heart and soul of what Tobilk is about.